Hey everyone, welcome to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today I wanted to talk about meeting notes. And I wanted to show you how I use a template in my note taking to kind of get the most out of my meeting notes without going crazy, without having like extensive lists of like every single thing that was said during a meeting. I think that there's a couple key things you want to get out of a meeting, and I have a template made that works for me, and it may work for you. So I wanted to show that to you today. So like I said, I really want something simple. I want something that I can create quickly and I can view quickly at a later date and has all the essential information. So I'm doing this in Evernote. You can do it in any note taking app. Obviously, Evernote just happens to be the one I'm using uh, right now. And so I just create a new note and then I'm going to use a template. So Evernote has this templating feature. I'm going to go to my templates and I have a meeting note here. So here we go. So I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to do a demo meeting. There we go. I like to give it the name of whatever it is, usually on my calendar. So if I like look at back in my calendar and say, oh, this is the one, I can easily find it by searching. Uh, I have attendees. So I like to know who was at a meeting. Um, so James, uh, let's do Rebecca. Cool. So there's the people at the meeting so I can reference them later. I can do a search again and find them later. And then general notes. So general notes are what we talked about during the meeting. So what decisions were made? What were the big points? I don't take notes of every single thing people say during the meeting. I think that that's a waste of time, <laughs> but I do take notes of the big things, especially, especially because there's so many instances of maybe this is maybe this is only me, but I suspect you have it as well, where like days or weeks or months later, you'll say, what did we decide to do? And then you have that in your notes if you write it down. So um, decided to use blue for the buttons or something like something dumb like that. But like I would write it down here and uh, put as like any reasoning um, because it's happy. Right. So something like that. So that when we go back and say like, why did what did we decide on? Oh, it was blue. Why did we decide that? It was happy. Like. Hopefully yours will be a little more <laughs> intricate than this, but or more like in insightful than this, but this is kind of helpful for me. And so that's just where all these go. And then I put whatever things happen, any takeaways, whatever, those all go in here. And then there's the inbox. And the inbox is something that I think is really, really, really important. These are the things that are the action items that come out of a meeting. So now that we've had the meeting, something should have changed. Some decision should have been made. Something, there should be some action that comes out of it, right? A meeting for meeting's sake is not helpful. Uh, but what are the things I need to do after this meeting? If there's things other people need to do, I'll probably put it in general notes. But if there's things I need to do, maybe I need to make a task to make buttons blue. And so I need to do that. And so if you're using your task, or sorry, your note taker as your task manager as well, then that could just be a task. Like if you're using something like Rome, you could just make that a task in line and then uh, view that whenever you want. But I'm using Evernote right now and Evernote is not good for task tracking. So what I have is I'll have a list of things to do coming out of the meeting. And at the end of the meeting or during the meeting, if there's some like downtime for me, I'll just put it into things. And so I'll it's essentially uh, copy this, paste it into things as a new task with whatever due date and tags, whatever I need. And then I mark it as documented. So now it's been documented in my task manager as a thing to do. And so that's how I keep track of the things that I need to do, the action items that come out of each meeting for me, so I don't lose track of those. Now I mentioned you can do this for any note taker. And so for example, if I go into drafts, I've got drafts here and I actually have a keyboard shortcut to do basically the same thing. So I give the meeting a note name, I have attendees, general notes, and then action items. So all of that stuff goes here. So again, I would write like uh, Jill, John, uh, or Jake and Rebecca. And then general notes could be uh, anything down here, but yeah, so like this is, and then these are my tasks. So this is exactly the same thing. It's just in drafts. Uh, you could either copy and paste it in all the time. I have a keyboard maestro shortcut that will just type all this out for me, but that's not really what's important. The important part is that you have a system, a structure for the notes specifically around attendees, who is here, what did we talk about? What decisions were made? And then 
coming out of it, what are my action items? What do I need to do? And so those go down here. So those are the things I keep track of. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Uh, hopefully you got your uh, just creativity going about what would work for you. If you're looking at this and you're like, this isn't nearly sufficient or this is the wrong stuff. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments what you do differently for meeting notes. I'd love to get more ideas. Like I said, I haven't taken notes in meetings religiously for a long time. So this is still relatively new to me, but I found this to be helpful to get up and running uh, with getting better notes out of my meetings. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.